Hello! Thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to go into more detail about how to work with color scales for conditional formatting in Excel 2010. For this lesson, we'll be using the employment data set. In a previous video, we introduced conditional formatting in Excel, which allows you to change the look of cells based on their values or the results of a function or formula. In this video, we expand on the use of color scales in conditional formatting. Color scales are useful when you want to highlight the variation in values across observations in your data. You can choose between two color and three color scales and have several options to control how the scales change with the data. Let's begin by selecting the salary field in the data and creating a conditional format. Select the column from G2 to G100. On the Home tab of the ribbon, click on the Conditional Formatting button in the Styles group. Hover over the Color Scales selection to expand its menu and see the different types of preset color scales. There are both two and three color presets available. Select the three color scale for red, yellow, and green. This scale uses green colors for low values yellow for medium values, and red for high values. This is a nice starting point for our conditional formatting, but we can customize these results better to suit our needs. To customize your formatting, click on the Conditional Formatting button and select Manage Rules at the bottom. This opens a dialog box where you can create, remove, and customize all of the conditional formatting in the workbook. We don't see any formatting rules in the dialog box because its default setting is for the current selection or current cell. And there isn't any formatting on that particular cell. We'll click on the drop down menu and select this worksheet to find all the conditional formatting on this page. To customize this rule, click on it to select it, then click on the edit rule button to open the editing dialog box. There are two sections in this dialog box. At the top, you can select the type of rule to use. We'll leave this alone for now and focus on the bottom portion of the dialog box. At the bottom, you can edit the rule we already have in place. In the Format Style drop-down menu, you can choose between two and three color scales, data bars, and icon sets. This makes it easy to switch between different types of formats. For now, let's leave this on a three color scale. Since this is a three color scale, we need to define where the scale changes from one color to the next. The default is to use the lowest value in the data for the minimum on the color scale and the highest value in the data for the maximum color. The midpoint color is then set at the 50th percentile of the distribution. These results might be fine for many applications, but they are not the only options. Click on the Type drop-down menu. Here you can choose to use the lowest value, a specific number or value, a percent, a formula, or a percentile. I'd like to have this color scale really show the differences between those with high, medium, and low salaries, so let's switch to percentiles for the minimum and maximum values. Percentiles are great when you want to highlight a group of cells, such as the bottom and top 10% of the distribution, using different colors. We can change the default percentiles in the value boxes as well. Enter 20 for the minimum percentile and 80 for the maximum. We'll leave the midpoint at the 50th percentile. You can also change the colors used for the color scale if you like. I'm going to change these colors to blue, red, and orange.
Now click on OK and then click OK again to apply the new color scale. With our new color scale we can easily see who has salaries in the bottom 20% in blue and the top 20% in orange. But perhaps we don't want to use percentiles. Instead, we could choose to split our color scale at a specific value. Click on the conditional formatting button and select Manage Rules. Then select this worksheet to show the available formatting rules. Finally, Select the rule and hit the edit button. Let's make the differentiation between high and low salaries even stronger by changing to a two color scale. Next, we'll change the minimum and maximum scale colors to specific values. Make the minimum 90,000 this way any salaries at or below 90,000 will have the same color. And we'll make the maximum 110,000. So any salaries at or above 110,000 will also have the same color. Finally, we'll change the colors so that they really contrast. Let's make the minimum color a bright blue and the maximum color a bright red. Now click on OK, then click on OK again to apply the new format. Our new two color scale clearly isolates the salaries falling in the lower and upper ends of the distribution. This has been an example of using color scales with conditional formatting in Excel. In the next video, we'll go into more detail about using icons for your conditional formatting. I'll see you there.